a lot of us, including myself, we are going to Tel Aviv, Israel for the Eurovision Song Contest 2019. And guess what? I received this package. It's a little damaged, uh, dented, but the content I think is fine. And I'll get to try some Israeli snacks that I have never tried before right here, right now. Uh, let's do this right here together. Sup, you fools! Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, and I decided not just to talk the talk, but walk the walk. I cannot wait to go to uh, Tel Aviv this year in May for the contest, Eurovision Song Contest 2019. It's always fun, but I'm particularly excited about my time in Tel Aviv. So I figured it's time to prepare a little bit. So I ordered this package. It comes from directly straight from Israel. Took about two or three weeks to get here, but I finally have it. It's filled with a few snacks um, that are very popular in Israel, apparently. So um, I'm going to try them here right now for the very first time. So when I get to Israel, that I'm at least uh, somewhat used to them. Hopefully they're good. I am not necessarily the pickiest eater in the world, but there are certain things where even I am like, mm, maybe not. But anyway, let's uh, give this a shot. I'm really excited. So I got this box here, as you can see, um, and I got my scissors this way. So let's slice this thing open. I'm so excited. Ooh. Oh my God, there is so much stuff in here. I cannot wait. So I'll go through them one by one. Um, let me see if I can show you how it looks. So this is what's in there, and I'll get to try them right here, right now. Eeny, miny, moe. Ah, let's just do this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to try is this. And I just realized I have no idea how to read that stuff, so you guys have to um, uh, tell me what that means. My uh, Hebrew is pretty rusty, as in non-existent. But it looks like some kind of roll. Let me see it again. Anyway, I'm gonna rip this thing open and uh, see. This is what it looks like. I don't know what it is, let me smell this. Oh, peanut butter. That's so American, let me see. I think it's peanut butter. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, yum, yum. Hmm. I gotta try another one. This is very interesting. Um, not something I've had before, so it has like a sly peanut butter taste to it, but it's not very strong. It's just like a hint almost because isn't that, there isn't that much chocolate in it. It's like chocolate, peanut buttery um, flavored stuff. And it has like this weird crusty thing. It's a little bit more flaky dry, but it works well because chocolate is creamy. So um, I'm gonna try one more. Mmm, 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 mmm. This, my friend, is a keeper. It's uh, light, it's sweet. Ooh, I like it. I like it. We're off to a good start. There's so many more things to try though. Next up is this little sucker. I once again, am I holding that upside down? I don't even know. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try this and see what it's gonna taste like. The fun thing is, I have no idea what it says. And so I'm not, I have no clue what uh, it's gonna be thrown at me, but this one is white. I thought it was gonna be dark chocolate, but look, look, look. Mm, 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 yes, mama. Looks like white chocolate. Let me get a little closer here. Where's the camera? <laughs> there you go. So I'm gonna try this real quick and see. Okay, smells good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm squatting part of my hand. It's kind of not gooey, but certainly um, chewy. Mm. 
It looks like this from the inside. Mm. What is this? I have no idea. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, yeah. It's really good. It's like a muesli bar or something like that um, with white chocolate, I think. You know, I'm not the best uh, person when it comes to tasting and um, explaining food. <laughs> but whatever this is, I like it too. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. If you see it in the store, it definitely feels like something that if you just have a little bit of an appetite without filling yourself up, this is a good kind of power snack. So I'm in favor of this one. All right, next up, we've got this little bigger box. Uh, looks like some waffle rolls and I guess filled with chocolate, but let's find out. Plenty of chocolate. Oh, so this thing is packed. Okay, I can't get this open with my hands, so we got a little bit more tricky here and get a little violent with those scissors. Uh -huh. ah, here we go, two hours later. Oh, okay, so this is what they look like. I thought they would be thicker, but they're actually very thin little rolls, I think covered, uh, not covered, but filled with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Similar to what we had in the beginning, right? But let's see. Mm-hmm. Very light. Good. Really good. Very chocolatey. So the other one earlier had like peanut butter. This one is just good old-fashioned chocolate. Milk chocolate, I guess. Um, this would be really good with a cappuccino or a cup of coffee. It's that kind of snack. It's still good like by itself, but I would love to have something to drink with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As you can see, it doesn't look that different when you chew it. See what I mean? It's, uh, delish. Oh! <laughs> so I just figured out, because I'm very smart, there's English on the other side. <laughs> I should have seen that before. Crisp waffle rolls filled with chocolate flavored cream. Dairy. So, uh, yeah, these are good. These are good. Next up. What is this? Hmm. Chips. Some kind of sort of chips. Which I am going to try right now. Ooh. Strong smell. Look in that bag. That's what they look like inside the bag. They look like little hats, almost, like little triangles. A little hat like a little dwarf would wear. They smell very, um... Like corn. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is a great party snack. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yum. So this one is definitely a little bit more on the savory side. It's not very sweet. It's not very strong, actually. I thought this was going to be like a very strong in-your-face kind of flavor, but it's actually fairly um, a mild flavor, at least to me. Mm. Okay, one more. They're good. I do like them. I think this is a little bit, you have to have like two or three to really get into them. The first one was like, yeah, it's okay, but the more I eat them, the better they get. If you are not as crazy about chocolate and sweets and just like more like something more savory, this is the one to go. So um, I definitely recommend it. I recommend it. There is so much more in that box. Who would have thought so much um, stuff fits into this tiny little box. This is another bar. Take a look. I need some Israelis to translate that for me. I don't even know how to look that up online, but um, anyway. I'll give this a shot. Okay, it looks weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It looks a little uh, foreign to me. Uh, here it is. See what I mean? It has like this weird layer on it. Let me smell it. What is this? Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about this one now. I can't recognize it. Smell, well, oh, let's give it a shot. 
Oh. Mm. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, it looks like this. Oh. It tastes like. Oh. Oh my, I, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> okay. I need something to drink. I'll be right back. I have to wash this down uh, with some milk. Oh, jeez. Okay, I really don't know what this is. I cannot even really pinpoint to the flavor. It is a really odd texture, something I have never had before. It is not sweet at all. It is not even savory. It is kind of dry, but it leaves a really weird aftertaste in your mouth. <coughs> I can't even, oh. If you see that at the store and you want to buy it, run, run for your life. So this one's gonna go safely back into the box. I'm sorry, I need more milk. Next up, it's this little buddy here. I don't know what that is, it's chips. Looks interesting. Let's open it up. That one's kinda crushed. Okay, these are tiny little, uh, rolly little, like, squirrely things. Um, ooh, they smell like, um, what is that, barbecue? I'm sure they come in different flavors. This one smells good. Ooh, mm. Very strong flavor. Ooh, ooh, yeah, this has a strong aftertaste as well. But this is very, very, very crunchy. Like, it's not just a regular chip, they're like crunchy, crunchy. I'm not sure if you can hear me chew, but. Wow. So, very different from the other stuff so far, but this is fun. It's good. It's actually really good. And um, compared to the rest, it's, you know, the chocolatey and all that stuff, this is a crunch that I really appreciate. So, if you look something for like, something more. Um, Solid. This is good. I don't think you just eat it because they're so crunchy that you're gonna slow down eating them. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice flavor. Mmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're back to like yay. <laughs> I'm not even close to being done yet. Next up is something something Hebrew big bite. Alright. Another bar, now I'm scared. This is what we got. Oh, this one has melted, nah, it's still good. So this is what it looks like. So it looks like chocolate. Oh, this smells good. I can smell some waffles, some really good milk chocolate. So I'm gonna, that sucker shall be mine. I know I'm going to like this. Mmm! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm filled to your mouth. Mm. Chewy, good. Melt in your mouth. Chocolate. I think it's hazelnut. And um, with waffles, obviously. And this is what it looks like from the inside. This is sweet. That's on the very sweet side. So if you are not into that kind of sweetness, then this may not be the go-to. But if you really want to get a big load of sweetness and sugar, mm, this is the one. Probably melts quickly, so um, I'm gonna eat that probably um, first. Because, uh, yeah, that won't last. I just can't, can't have a whole lot of it because it is very, very sweet. Looks like I'm switching back and forth between chips, snacks, and chocolate bars, because right now we're going back to snacky chips kind of thing. Not a clue what it's saying. Tons of little tiny of those uh, cubes with the 
four holes in them. So they're not really huge, but um, tiny little bites. Mm. Once again, on the crunchy side. Hmm, this is not barbecue, but it tastes a little bit like um, pizza. I feel like I'm having like pizza bites here. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Good. Not a strong in your face kind of flavor. I wouldn't call it mild per se, but it is not overwhelming. That is what I'm I guess, trying to say here. These little suckers, little chocolate balls, maybe like peanuts in there. I don't know what it is. Once again. Oh, there's some stuff in English, but only the nutrition is what it's telling me is in English. So, proteins and cholesterol and sodium. I mean, I don't need to know about that. I want to know what's in it. Anyway, let's just try it out. All right, it's like this ball looking almost like an egg shaped um, bite. Let's bite it in it. Whoa. Yes. Oh my god. This is delicious, my friends. Look at this. So it's actually not uh, a peanut, it's actually a biscuit, right? And um, it has milk chocolate on the outside and I think, yeah, white chocolate, a layer of white chocolate inside of it with a biscuit is delicious. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm, yes! <laughs> mm, 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 mm. It's very fun because it has the sweetness of the white and um, milk chocolate, but the biscuit kind of brings it back and scales it back a little, so it's absolutely bearable. This is a fantastic snack. Um, I love it. Whatever it is, it, it's yeah more on the sweet side, as I pointed out, but... Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay, so apparently there are a bunch of more chocolate bars and stuff in there, so um, I gotta work my way through them next, cause, oh gosh. Um, this is next. I have no idea if I'm holding this upside down or not, cause I don't know how to read this. This is what it looks. Probably some nuts in there. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Chocolate, white chocolate, biscuit again, and nuts. Look. I do like the nut flavor that adds to it. I'm like, this is really good. You Israelis love chocolate, but who doesn't, right? Yes. Hmm. 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 That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Again, sweeter side, but with the waffle in there. This again, one to have coffee with it. Next up. This looks fun. Got like, again, white and dark or oh, milk chocolate. So this one's gonna be, it's broke. It's like a long bar, but I think it, it kind of fell apart a little bit in the mail. But this is what it looks like, right? All these little balls of uh, chocolate, white chocolate, and then it looks like this. Yeah, so very familiar uh, smell already, like the other ones. Mm-hmm. Closer look at it, and you can see again, a nice like, um, creamy nut flavored uh, filling, I think. I, I just had a nut flavor in there. Not quite like Nutella, but certainly um, on the sweeter side with a nice waffle. At first it was kind of weird eating this because of the texture of those little uh, chocolate balls, but um, this is good. It's not as sweet as it looks. It is sweet, it is sweet, but I find some of the other bars way sweeter. Yeah. I like this one too. Look, another one. Take a look again, I don't know what it means. 
I'm always worried I'm holding this upside down because I don't know how to read this. Anyway, I can see already on the picture chocolate and nuts, hazelnuts. Let's see if there's a surprise in there. Nope, looks like a good old fashioned bar here. Covered in chocolate. Smells like chocolate. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Not what I expected. Look at this. The creamy filling. It reminds me almost of a um like in Germany we call the Milky Way. Um not the not the ones you know in America though, they're different. Um yes, it has a it doesn't taste as much as ha um, of hazelnut as I expected. Huh! Very unexpected. That's not what I saw coming here. This is good, though. This is really, really good. Um, different than all the others, um, and that's what I appreciate. I um, expected more of an in-your-face sweetness, but with that... It's a little bit more chewy um, than some of the others. But yeah, no, this is definitely um, good. I really like it. And I think the more I eat it, the more I like it. It was just totally not what I expected. So caught me off guard a little. All right, moving on. I got this back here. And as you can see, it says it in English, chocolate flavored filled cookies. Oh shoot. Didn't mean to rip the back open like that. All right, this is, if you can see that in here, it's hard to see, let me. Where's my camera? <laughs> Right there. That's what it's just in there. There's a good amount of them in there. Oh, yes, they're very, very um, doughy almost. Look. Like it comes off and you. It's very flaky here. It comes off actually. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're pretty dry actually. Um, huh. As you can see, you can't really see the chocolate in here because there's still that dough stuff around it. Mm. It's not as chocolatey as I thought, so it's definitely very uh, uh, cookie. So, so the word cookie definitely describes it. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I don't taste as much of the chocolate in here. Um, as I said, it's on the drier side. Interesting. So I don't know if I would like them uh, just by themselves. This is definitely something you want to have, as I said, milk with it or coffee or something. Like, you know, when you get like a cup of coffee, you have like one of them sitting right next to it. It's good. It's just dry. And yeah, I wouldn't enjoy it just on its own. Don't worry, we're not done yet. We've got this big bag of something called N-E-N-A. I don't know. I don't know what it means. There's not one word in English on here. Okay. What an adventure this is. Ooh. So, <laughs> here's the reason why I'm making these, the, the noises that I'm making. Look. This is what it looks like. See, so they look like, um, I don't know, elephant boogers, but I don't think they're going to taste like elephant boogers. Oh, I love this. Mmm. 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 I love you. They're very soft. Like they're baked, right? You bake them. They're kind of crispy at the same time. It's like that soft and crispy. Uh, but still kind of like... They're not sweet per se. Now they're more savory but they don't feel as like overwhelming savory. So even if you're more on the sweet side, you'll still enjoy these. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna finish this back now if I'm not gonna stop. Okay, it has a cheese flavor of it as well. Oh God, I gotta put this away. I'm... <laughs> okay, we're almost done. The next up is this little friend here with a little bird on there. Let's see what it's gonna taste like. Oh, not chocolate. You have it. 
it looks like um, mashed cornflakes all stuck together in this bar. This is a messy one. Oh my god, the floor is dirty just by opening this one. Mm. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's very flaky. And it tastes like, it tastes like cornflakes almost. Again, this is a little bit on the drier side, so I need a little bit of milk once again. But this is nice because it's not just chocolate like all of the other ones I've seen so far. This one is just really good, flaky, fun, and I really like it. Again, I need something to drink with this because it's on the drier side and it's kind of gets stuck in your teeth almost. But um, yeah, if you look for something different, go for this. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, the last one of the night. This one. Yeah, <laughs> one more of the sweet ones. This is definitely chocolate. It comes down to what it's filled with. Again, it looks fairly plain from the outside. Regular chocolate bar. But let's find out what's on the inside. <clears throat> I can't eat anymore. Hmm. Oh, this is good. Hmm. So here it is. It doesn't look like much, does it? Once again, this is um, milk chocolate. I taste nougat on here. Uh, nougat cream-ish kind of stuff. Mm. Rice, there's a crisp, like rice crisps in there. And something else, I think it's caramel. Yeah, it's caramel, nougat, and um, some crispy, um, flaky stuff again. So, um, good. It's also really, really good. You know your sweets, Israel. Definitely up my alley. Oh yeah, when you look on the picture actually right here, it's a little bit more highly, uh, it's, you can see it, it's like the caramels right there. Um, you can't really tell in here as much when I show it to you like this. So it's slightly deceiving the picture, but the flavor is there. I can definitely taste the caramel. There you have it. And um, I tried a lot of stuff. I'm sure I'm going to have a tummy ache later tonight. But anyway, this was so much fun and I know I'll fit right into Israel. Your stuff is delicious. So I'm sure you want to know which ones were my favorite and my least favorite. Here we go. I'm gonna show you my two favorites. One of my favorites, this one. I'm gonna have Mmm, mmm, <laughs> And I must say, the other favorite, it's one of the chocolate ones. At least right now, so maybe if I eat them more, I will change my opinion, but as of right now, these little, uh, this little um, biscuit in the center with the covered milk chocolate on the outside and then the milk chocolate in the inside, it's really good. Now, if I have to point out one that I don't like, I think you've noticed which one it is. Um, it's this one. I'm scared, I don't want to even get too close to this one. Reminder, if you see this, run, it tastes like dust. <laughs> I don't know my Israeli friends, maybe this is very popular where you are, and maybe this is an acquired taste. I have not acquired that taste yet. There you have it, my opinions, my reaction to Israeli snacks. I am so full right now, I feel like, ugh. But that is good, I ate a lot of chocolate. Um, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in Tel Aviv in May for the Eurovision Song Contest 2019. If you enjoyed the video, as always, hit that subscribe button as we discuss anything related to the Eurovision Song Contest and whatever is related to it. So, have a good day, have a good night, have a good whatever.